I'm Bounty Hunter D, and I hunt humans for a living. Sometimes I might have to repo your ride. I'm taking your car. And catching cheaters in the act. You need to get out my face, though. So whatever it is I share with you, you will be entertained. How come I just can't be Bounty Hunter D and I caught you? This is real life, homie. Stay tuned for the hunt. What's going on, you young little bounty hunters? You, it's Bounty Hunter Day. And thank you for joining me for, yes, another super video. Look here, if you're here for your first time, how you doing? You're such a baby. You've never seen Bounty Hunter D before. I'm glad you're here. Smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. If you want to subscribe to me, I appreciate that. If you've been riding with me since, for I think, how long have we been on YouTube? For almost two and a half years or so. Millions of fans, millions of views a month. I just have to say thank you from the bottom to the top of my Bounty Hunter D heart. Tico just walked in here. What you want, boy? What you want, Tico? What do you want? You see me do? What do you want? You can't, you can't do this right now. You can't do this right now. Um, also, uh, it's all about love, peace, and family. Make sure you get that, that, I know you can't see it because my puppy. Okay, hold on, Tico. Oh my God. I'm trying to do the intro. Go over there. Go home. Go over there. Tico got good slobber. Yeah, I can't actually wash, wash my face with Tico slobber. Yes, it's all about love, peace, and family. That link is in the description for the hottest merch in the YouTube game. Thank you for allowing Bonnie Hunter D, me, to be your hero. Thank you for loving my videos. Thank you for everything, everything, everything. Okay, now I'm not trying to do like a spoiler alert, but in this video, I I had to put this dude in a wicked arm bar. You're gonna love it. Uh, I just had to do it. I didn't really want to do it. You guys know me. I try to kick people out of my office. This is not a place to fight, but at the same time, I had some fun doing it. Like, body and this dude, I loved it. You're gonna enjoy this video. If you're not a member, check this out. You want to become a member of my channel. Why? Because the members are watching me right now, right? Before everybody else. Yes, I upload this video for my members. My members also get me vlogging almost every single day. Little clips like of me messing around, working, interviewing my clients. I like to kind of interview them and talk to them what they're gonna do next, stuff like that. Members are gonna get that stuff in a vlog almost every single day. Yes, the members, I'm trying to spoil you. Enjoy the video, it's totally fire. Holla at your boy. Shut Hey, what's going on, my man? Come in, sir. How you doing? John. Nice to meet You're you. You're John? Yes. I'm D. I'm DJ. It's my partner, nice DJ. DJ. So, let me just kind of tell you why we had you come. First of all, thanks for coming in. Uh, I'm a private investigator. Uh, this is my partner, DJ, and your employer hired me to uh, find out what's going on with your case. It looks like that uh, you have a $100,000 uh, uh, insurance case against against them. $100,000? Uh, workman's comp. Yeah. So it's yeah. a big, it's a lot of money. So they want to make sure everything is okay. Um, so all you got to do is just tell me what happened. And, you know, I'm going to record the session for your boss and their attorneys, send it over to them. And, you know, if everything goes good, I, we write you a check. I, well, they I, will write you a check, rather. I don't get it. I, I was told to come here just to pick up a check. I already answered a bunch of questions to Listen, the insurance company a while ago. And we're right. trying to get you to that point, but you need to go through this process. Like, we're the gatekeepers. You don't get the money unless you deal with us. I don't right? get the money? Unless you deal with us. Well, and if your so case is, is right. I yeah. mean, if it's if it's true, basically. It is true. I already went on okay, record with everything. Great. So go ahead and just let us know your side of the story. Like he said, we're the gatekeepers between the money and everything else. So you want to just go ahead and tell me what happened? I mean, I work a lot of hours I'm behind a computer screen all day. I'm, I'm an accountant. I work through spreadsheets. Hold on, you seem real nervous. Just listen. Just calm down. Yeah. You know, he seemed like he's just real he's, nervous. He's jittery. Like just a, go ahead and talk to me normal. Don't don't be okay. scared or anything. I could tell like when we told him, you know, about mm -hmm. the money. He's yeah. like, well, you know, I want to, you know, you want to tell me your case. Just relax. Tell us your case as if you're talking to your homies. So just mm -hmm. go ahead and tell me what happened. All right. Look. So I work a lot of hours. Probably fifty to sixty a week. Okay. Okay. You know, I've been with the company for a long time. I put in my time, but it's rough. I mean, right. It takes a toll on my hands. I've done physical therapy for all this. Okay. I'm just, I'm just here to get my money, man. Cool, cool. How long has your hand been in that condition? Like months now. It happened earlier this year. Okay. Okay. And they still haven't gave you your money. That's why you're here to get your money, right? Yeah. Okay. Said it. Good question. Yeah. Good question. 
Now, I can see you're kind of like really babying that thing. How many times have you gone? You don't have to share your medical records with us because that's against the law unless you want to share it. But how many times have you seen the physician regarding your hand or your wrist? Is it your wrist or your hand? It's both my wrist and my hand. There's okay. pain all throughout. Okay. I've gone to dozens of sessions, multiple a week for months now. Okay. It's time. I, I need so, to get my money. Okay. I understand about the money, homie, but as far as like your pain, is it from one to 10, what would you say your pain threshold is like right now as we speak? It's a 10. It's okay. a 10. Yeah. Can, can you, so you can't, can you swing a baseball bat with that hand? No, I can't do anything with this so hand. Can you make, so you can't make a fist with that hand either? Nah, I, I ain't in any position to fight nobody right now. Nah. Oh. Okay. Well, he ain't, he ain't trying to fight yeah, you, man. Just... So you, you can't, like, you have no mobility to do this, no. make a fist, anything with that. See how still this is? No, I can't. I see. Anything. It looks like it's painful, the I way you're anything. holding it. We just want to make sure. So um, what date did that happen? Because you, obviously, you type your, your businesses in, in, in uh, is it finance? What, what Accounting. Company? Accounting. Accounting, okay. I don't remember the exact date, but it happened earlier this year. Okay. Happened earlier this year. It's, it's all on record. The insurance company can Right, that. right. I looked at your file earlier. I don't have it up here, but I remember your file. So um, from my recollection, let me know if I'm wrong. You, when you got that injury, you didn't let anyone know. You just left. You didn't tell your boss what happened. They had to call you to find out what happened, right? So why did you do that? What, what made you just say, hey, you know what? It sounds like to me like he was just fed up with his job. Yeah. I mean, That's how it appears. I mean, but, it happened on a Friday, so I had stuff to do. The weekend was starting. And you didn't tell your employer. You just left, though. But I still reported it. Yeah, but that was on Monday that you reported it. I mean, I've been there long enough that I don't feel like I got to be baby by anybody. I don't got to report to somebody if, like, yeah. something happens. Like, as long as I follow what I think is certain protocols. Then what you think, even though, are you, oh, I don't know. Is he, are you part owner of the company? No, I'm not. Okay, so what makes you feel that you can tell the boss what to do? That's very... I mean, I, I feel like yeah. I've just earned that right after so many years. You earned the right to tell the boss how to run his company and what <laughs> rules to in, and put in place? I mean, that's not what I said, but I, I'm just here for the money now. Oh, I understand okay. that. And he wants the money. He wants the money. Yeah. He wants the money. Okay, I get it. Um, money is cool. It seems like you're in pain. That looks like a really... Can you lift that up? Is it, is it one of the, the metal plates in there that's preventing you from moving? It's, it's all wrapped up right now. Can I get a closer look at that? Do you mind? Sorry, man. And just don't touch it. I'm not going to touch it. I just want to get a good look at it. Can you, can you turn your wrist this way? Or turn your arm that way? You said the pain is a 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it looks, yeah, the way you're doing it, it looks really bad. Um, what's that question to your employer is just how you left. They thought it was job abandonment because you didn't let them know. And then all of a sudden they were hit with a workman's comp claim. So you understand the severity of all of this and why he wanted us to investigate, right? Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay, so during our investigation, we were able to find some things out that we thought were um, um, at question. In this, um, before you show this, um, is there anything you want to tell us? Are you sure? You're in pain. Yes. And it's a 10. I am. Okay. It's a 10. All right. So what I want you to do is if you can stand up or sit there, I'm going to show you what we observed as far as your injury. Go ahead and stand up right here. And you this was earlier today before you got here. Right here. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you what we have. Can you see the screen okay? Yeah. And that is in front of your house, correct? Looks like it, yeah. And that is your vehicle there, right? That's it. And that, it, would you say that that's you in front of your house, in front of your car? With the Blade Runner jacket on, that's you, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play this. And you kind of just let me know, right now we don't see the brace on your hand, right? So that appears to be you, right? That's still you, Looks correct? Like you. Looks like you are taking some things out of your car. And I don't see a brace on your hand as of yet. And it looks like you have mobility in both hands, man. It doesn't look like you're... I mean, how am I... And look at here. Hold on here. This was like, what, two days ago? This two, no, this was earlier today oh. that I did this. It looks like you're putting your brace on right now. That could be anything. And then it looks like you're doing something. Okay, here, you're putting your brace on. Maybe it looked like you were adjusting it from before. Oh, my God. Okay, so what is that? I thought you couldn't even make a fist. That looks like a punch 
on to making sure it's on. Yeah, I was just adjusting my sleeve. Look at that, punch, punch, punch. I'll play oh. it again. Punch, punch, punch. Look, punch, punch, punch. Okay, so uh, just based off of that and what I see, um, I don't, I don't see uh, you getting any money. This looks like a fraud case to me. Mm -hmm. What do you think, DJ? Uh, be in prison up to two years for fraud. Sir. Yeah. Are you kidding me? So what we're gonna do is do this. We're gonna give you an opportunity to come clean and say, hey, you know what? I made him. I ask everybody this when we see fraud on camera. You can say, hey, to my my. You can talk right to that camera and talk to your employer and say, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. I made a mistake. This will never happen again. I put in my resignation, everything. Man, or fraud. you can face the law. Which one do you want to do? Because you're not going to get any money. Okay, well, you're not going to get any money. In man. fact, no, you can get money. the hell out of my I office. I did the therapy. I did everything I needed to do to get this, this is money. Showing me, this is showing me that you are full of crap. You can get out of my office. Thanks for coming no, in man, today. Go ahead. Get out. Get out. Give me my money. Get out of my hey, office, man. Give me my money. Hey, get out of my office right now. Oh, look at this. Give me my money. Oh, look at this. Give me my money. I'm not leaving. Get him out. Get out. Man, get out of my office, man. I don't care how mad you get. I don't care how mad you get, homie. Get out. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, back off. Oh. Quick. Oh, got him? Yeah. I got him. You got him? Yeah, I got him. You done? Are you done? You done? Just get my money. You done? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? You're done. You're getting out. Are you gonna get out? You sure? I'll break your arm. You sure? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of my office, homie. We really break your arm. Let me amp down a little bit, homie. That's what I'm talking about. Yo. Yo. When I had him down, yeah. I thought he was going to try to bite my hand. Yeah. That's the only reason why I arm barred him. Yeah. I thought he was going to bite my hand. I had him here. But he wasn't secure, mm -hmm. and you were over here. Yeah, I had his legs though. He snuck up on me, man. He snuck me. Let's just say that. Well, that's okay. <laughs> nah. He took you down. It's okay. I get taken down all the time. It's not even Whatever. about that. It's about our safety. Absolutely. It's not about if we get taken down or whatever it is. Yeah. Anytime somebody come to this office, it gets my adrenaline. I'm like breathing hard. Everybody know I'm out of shape. My wife talk about my pancita. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're safe. Yeah. We saved the company $100,000. Absolutely. It is what it is. Bonnie Hunter D, my man DJ, my wife behind the camera. Make sure you subscribe to When Reality Strikes. Link is in the description. Make sure you get the hottest merch. Also, in this YouTube game, holla at your boy. Also, I want to give this poster away to a lucky fan or member. Email me. Tell me why you want this poster. I'm going to sign it for you and send it to you. Give me the details in your email. Bonnie Hunter D, I want that poster because I love you so much. Put your address in there. I'm going to pick a random person. It cannot be you, DJ. I'm and it cannot be you, Mrs. Bonnie Hunter D. <laughs> I was thinking I'm doing it. Or maybe you want this poster. <laughs> Y'all let me know if you want poster number one or poster number two. Look at that. And if you can see DJs involved in this beautiful poster, you get a poster of Bonnie Hunter D and DJ together. You need to give me one up here. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Let's go, Grandpa. I really don't want to go. Why but do you I, have to make me go? I have things to do with Bounty Hunter D right now, but I'm going to pick you up later, okay? But I want to stay all day wanted... with you, though. Why do I come to a nursing mm -hmm. home? Because the, uh, this place have uh, excellent reviews. It's a very good place, so that's why I want to try it. And I know you're going to be happy here. You're going to meet wonderful people. You'll see, you will be happy. I really don't Come like on, this. Grandpa. This is a you bad can... idea. No, it's not. Yes, it is, Jami. No, no, it's not. A bad idea. You love me or no, you or of not? Of course, I love you, honey. Uh, you oh. know, I want to actually want to oh. be with you. Okay, then you if you me? love me, you are gonna go to this place with a different face, like a happy face. I want to see a happy face. I don't face. have a happy face. Yes, you I do. Actually, you gotta go show me before. Right now. What? I showed you that because you know I don't want you with that old broke bounty Grandpa, hunter. You who ain't even a real bounty Grandpa, hunter. You, Grandpa, you always talk bad about your grandson. That boy ain't. No, I'm not fronting.